last video where I was showing the addition of the ice cubes to the beaker and its effect on the rate of electrolysis. Here right now we're running 20 volts, 56 uh, milliamps, 1.1 watts. And you can see our production is, let me zoom out here and go in. You see our production's fine. Uh, it's on a par with normal. And our temperature is running at 12, 12 degrees Celsius. <laughs> the strange thing about this is, yeah, we do have condensation on the outside of the jar, which is left over from the ice cubes. But if you look here, we now have a slushy. That's not bubbles. That's slushy water. Now, you can see how I can pull it up onto the glass. That's actually almost ice around the edges of the beaker. Now, what in the world is going on with this water? That we're getting this to happen and our temperature's gone back up well, right now we're actually 12, 12 C, and I can move it away from the glass and it will still come out here and form again. Look, that's slush. That is the strangest thing I have seen yet. This is going to take many, many hours of exploration to understand now what's happened. I uh, am tempted to pull the exciter off and just throw on some DC and see if there's a phenomenon even similar to what's happening here, which I doubt very much. I, I do expect to see if I did that, that the water would start warming up. Uh, but this is definitely weird here. Look at this. It's building up quite high here back over here look at it's actually starting to congeal or or turn into slush right here quite heavily that is very strange